Hi everyone and welcome. Today I will be trying on my new week V show hair. So a little backstory as a black girl that's an introvert. I also love my natural hair. My natural hair is very long and so it's so hard to style and, and I can't deal with styling my hair every day. Then there's also the thing about um, braids. But braids. I don't know if you can see but my edges are doing pretty good right now but I did braids went back to braids for a while and then my edges started disappearing so I decided no nope, that's not for me so wigs wigs it is this is my first ever HD lace I would buy Swiss lace or other another type of lace and then it would be so obvious and I don't want more reasons for people to talk to me in public like Pretty your lace. In fact, my first kid ever lace wig was a wig that I did myself. I ventilated it from scratch. I did the baby hair to match my hairline because I have hair that's coming all the way close to my eyebrow. So most times when I buy lace wigs, it's either like this and I have to be gelling my own hair with the hair. I just decided to invest in very very good funny thing i didn't actually buy visual hair i didn't even know about visual hair until the package came i ordered from wild angel and i received a visual hair package that was very strange i ordered a highlight week and i had to pay a very tremendous customs fee about seventy-eight thousand naira. But I contacted Wild Angel, I told them about it, about the customs fee and they would give me half of the money to clear the customs fee. I was shocked when the package came and it was visual here. And I contacted them, I asked them, what's up, where's my wig? I'm seeing visual hair wig, did you outsource the order or what did you do? And they said they've never seen something like that before. I should send them um, the invoice that's on the other hand and I already told that to me. So the compensation was the wig I initially ordered from our angel was 22 inches and this one came in 24 inch and quality was good and it also came with some extra bundles like three bundles of pinky straight hair so I was like hmm considering what I paid I paid about 160 something dollars and what I was receiving looked like it was more than that amount. I decided to let everything go and just enjoy my my week. So this would have been a wild angel review, but it's a visual hair review. And I I went to their website and I saw that it was a full fledged website. So I'm thinking probably the delivery company is to blame if they mixed up the order. The cap which is on my head, visual airbags funny beauty blender lashes visual hair card to take care of your wig and all of that wig didn't come bleached so i used concealer on this side of the hair it's kind of worked a bit because if you look at the lace it's it's a bit tinted but it didn't really hide the knots the knots are very obvious so i had to wash it for this video so that i could start afresh if possible but the concealer didn't come out okay. i had to order this on aliexpress it's a big big knot healer medium brown this is the side that you rub on any pin for the knots to be hidden and then we're going to brush over with this so let's get to that i'm going to go over it oh let's try this is how we are looking let's turn and see if this was worth the money see some changes for example this side looks looks a little bit can't see the knots but i can see the knots very well here so let's try to apply it here and see if there are any changes we're going to the second item which is the wax stick and i know i'm supposed to use a hot comb with this but 
sadly there is no light to use the vacuum right now so i'm not going to use the vacuum let's go that back Mountain spray. So we're going to try out this mountain spray and see if it's going to lay our our lace down very well and make it look as if I am not wearing anything. The band and let's see whether this works. This is fine. Ooh. Does this look laid to you? Does this look like it melted the lace? Mm. Let's just go in with our lace tint, which is supposed to tint the lace. <laughs> but don't worry, it turns brown. You can see. Part of the last week. So I checked the product description of the lace melt and I realized I didn't use it correctly. So I'm supposed to apply underneath the lace and then put the lace on top. And please be careful, guys. I almost dropped this thing inside my eye. So this is me cleaning it off. Next, place your wig on top of the melting spray and use your fingers to press it in. Please also make sure that your lace is not too close to your eyebrows. Next, we use our band and press it in so that it melts while I also straighten out my hair. It's a 9 over 10 for me, especially as a beginner. I should have gone in with the edges, but then it's very beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks!